Hi guys, let me show you how you can disable some services in Windows 11 that probably you don't really need to have them on and they are using some resources from your PC that you could have allocated for another thing, even if it is gaming or productivity. Let's start with the tutorial. Now, services are everything that is running in your system in the background and also if you open one game, it's going to have some services. So let's start to show you where you can find them. Click into the search bar right here and you want to type services. You are going to see the services app right here. So you want to right click into it and click into run as administrator. Once this is open to start, I recommend you guys that you click right here to have it ordered into alphabet cat mode. And now let's go through all the settings that you could turn out. One thing that you have to keep in mind is that probably the services that I don't use, you are going to be using them. So you have to look which ones of all the ones that I'm going to show you today on this video you really use and which ones you don't use so you can disable them. Now, this is for example, like Bluetooth right here. I don't use Bluetooth, so I can disable all of them. But if you use Bluetooth or somebody that used your PC wants to have something of Bluetooth connected into your PC, you will need to keep them active. Now let's go through all of them that you need to disable. The first one that you see right here is the ActiveX installer. You go on to click into properties and you can see right here that provides user account control validation for the installation of ActiveX controllers. And this is mostly used in Internet Explorer, something that is not anymore in use. So you can safely disable it. As you can see, I have it already stopped. If you don't have it, you want to click into stop. Or you can also click right here. You're going to see the stop or start buttons on the left side and one small description of what this service does. Another service that most people don't use, maybe you are one of them, BitLocker, what this does is to encrypt your hard drives. So if you don't use them, if you don't have them encrypted by BitLocker, you want to stop both of them. As you can see, I have both of them already stopped. The same as I said before, you can disable all of the Bluetooth ones if you are not going to be using Bluetooth on your PC. Another thing that if you don't use, and probably most of you don't, is a smart card. So right here into certificate propagation, if you don't use smart cards, you can disable this as well. As well as right here cellular time, this is something that uses the messages from mobile network. If you don't use mobile network, disable this one. I already have done mine. Now, connected user experience and telemetry. This is all the data that Microsoft collects from your PC. And as you can see, it's running. If you don't want to share your data to Microsoft, you can to stop the service. Now let's scroll down. And one thing that I have told you already before in other videos is the Download Maps Manager because most of the people is not going to use maps, especially if you're using a desktop like mine. So you want to search for that service by clicking to it and to stop it. And here is another thing that we are in 2022. I think most of us, we don't use it, it's fax. You want to stop that service if you don't have it already. File history service is protect users' files from accidental loss by copying them to a, to a backup location. Most of us aren't going to use this. If you do backups, I recommend you guys anyway to do them yourself so you can stop this service as well. Let's go on scrolling down and let's go inside of the Microsoft section. Now, Microsoft keyboard filter. This control the keystrokes, filtering and mapping. Is something that most of you aren't going to use, so you can set it into disable. Another one that you can disable is the net logon. Most of you don't use it. This is to maintain a secure channel between this computer and the domain controller for authenticating users and services. Most of you guys in your home systems, you aren't going to use this, so you can disable it. But wait a moment. If you have watched the video until now and you find it useful, don't forget to drop a like on it and a subscriber is more than welcome into the channel, guys. As well as that, you can go into the channel and check for more tutorials and guides like this one. Thanks for watching. Let's go on into the tutorial. Now, of course, there are also as well applications right here that if you want, you can stop them. If you don't want to use Microsoft Defender, if you don't want to use Microsoft Edge, it's not something that I really recommend to do because in any case that you are going to need it, maybe for some applications. But if you want to do it, you can do it right here. The same as Microsoft Storage Space if you don't use them. Now let's keep scrolling down. Your display drivers don't stop the services. You do need them. Open SSH. If you don't use private keys to connect to SSH servers, you can disable this as well. 
Now, parental control, if you don't have any kids that are using your system and you don't want to have this on, you can disable it again. Pen service, if your system doesn't use a pen or a touch display that you can use a pen, you want to disable this one as well. And right here, print spooler, print extension notifications and print workflow. If you don't use a printer with your PC, this is only taking resources that you aren't using, so you want to disable them. For example, I'm going to take right here the print spooler and to select on the left side, stop. Or if you prefer, you can right click into it, go into properties and from here, select from automatic to disable completely. So it's not going to start even if you connect one printer. Click into apply and then into OK. Again, as here, remote desktop services, if you don't use that, you can disable them as well. Now, one important one to disable right here is the remote registry. As you see, it's disabled in mine because this is really important to have disabled because it's not going to enable to remote access to your registry editor and they could mess up your system from there. So keep this one into disable if you don't need it by any chance. Now, secondary logon, this is enable starting process under alternate credentials and most of the people aren't going to be using it. So you want to disable it. Now, once more, you have here some more options of a smart card. You want to disable them as well. Now, touch keyboard and hard writing panel services. You want to disable this as well, especially if you don't use a touch screen on your system. Now, there are some of them right here that you can look at the names, look at what they work for, what they can do, and you can maybe disable them if you are sure what you are doing. As you can see, I have lots of them that they are completely disabled and some of them that they are in manual. But most of the Windows uh, services, you are going to need them. For example, a Windows Defender, you can disable if you are not going to be using Windows Defender. Event Lock, I will leave it on. The Windows Media Player Network Sharing Services, there is a lot of people that have problems with this. So I recommend you guys to disable this one and everything else you want to leave it into on. Now, now when you are done selecting all of the services that you want to disable, you can close this window right here and restart your PC. Now you can always disable some more services, but be completely sure that everything that you are disabling you don't need and your system is not going to need so take your time look at the description and think and if you have any questions about a service or something that you don't know guys you let me a comment down below and i will try to help you out thanks for watching my friends if you find the video useful don't forget to drop a like and a new subscriber is more than welcome to this channel guys thanks for watching once more and like always see you guys on the next time bye bye